He's back. And I am slightly excited if you can't tell. So, to take you back in time just a little bit, the year is 2014, 2013, somewhere around there. My wife actually points out a book to me, asks if I've heard about it because she knows I'm into sci-fi and fantasy stuff, and she's like, I heard about this on the news, some kind of self-published book, and now it's a bestseller and all that. Have you heard of it? The book was Wool, and I had not heard about it, but I went straight to read it and absolutely fell in love with it. One of my favorite books, and I haven't read it in ages, and I'm probably going to have to go back and reread it because the book really got me out of a bad reading slump that I was in. And for that, I owe that book a lot. Read all the wool books as they came out. And then he came out with Sand, which was just the world in which he built that in was just beautiful. I loved it. It's a different concept of a world. And... Uh, a different economy and just it's just very unique and I loved the setting is really what drove me to love sand so much but he only wrote one book of sand and then he wrote some other small sci-fi stuff that really wasn't my taste and just disappeared from what I understand he got on a boat and just sailed away quite literally and it just left me wanting so much more and he just stopped writing in that world, in the world of sand. But now, he's back. And he has got a new sand book, uh, Across the Sand. It just came out, I've just heard about it. I'm super excited, I haven't heard anyone else talking about it, and I don't know why, I feel like this is big news. It has just come out, Across the Sand, uh, eight years, I think, after the first book. So, I'm, um, you know, it's no Patrick Rothfuss issue, you know, but still, it's been a long time. So, I'm excited. I can't wait to read the book. I'm probably going to do a reread of all the wool stuff and all the sand stuff and the new book. And probably will be doing reviews and talking about them just a little while on the channel, doing some lore videos on them. Just a little nostalgia for me, because like I said, this was, you know, eight years ago that I read these books. Lots changed in eight years. So I'll be very interested to see if I'm still as interested in these books. I really hope I am. Uh, I hope I don't go back and read them and go, oh my God, this was garbage. But I'm not too worried about that. I am really excited he's got the new book out. If you've never heard of Hugh Howey, and which that's understandable, he hasn't wrote a lot. But if you haven't heard of him, go check out his stuff. Uh, you can get a lot of the wool and sand books for free sample wise. But I really highly recommend you go check him out if you haven't. If you have, he's got a new sand book out. Go read that. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. So, without further ado, I've got to go you know, do some reading. And uh, I'll say, if you guys are excited about it, like this video. Uh, let me know down in the comments. And as always, just like, subscribe, all that. And I will see you on the next one.